Hi, my name is Katrin Korfman. I'm an artist living in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and we are now in my studio at the outskirts of the city. I'm originally coming from Berlin, Germany, but I live in the Netherlands already since 26 years. And in my art, I'm working on the edge of photography, post photography and installation art. I am attracted to the spectacles of everyday life, which often occur in public space. And here I capture people in metropolitan motion. And the tension emerged as my work oscillates between stillness and movement, creating a perspective on busy urban settings as portraits of contemporary transitions. I try to be critical and also playful at the same time towards the world around me and within my work. And I'm using a myriad of self-photographed images to investigate their historical, social and also visual context. And in the photographs, in the final works, uh, I hope to give a sense of distance and proximity as I depict realities that neither my eye nor the camera could have ever grasped because they're composed out of several hundreds of images. And uh, that way the images are both an interpretation of my experience, but hopefully also of a collective social memory. I think my studio space is the best studio place I can imagine. Um, actually, it's a former mission storage and it was renovated, I think, 15 years ago. I'm here already for 10 years and it's fantastic because it's, yeah, it's a really quiet space, but still connected to the city. Actually, I'm looking at a fig tree when I look out of my window. And um, also the whole surrounding of this area where a lot of studios are located. Studios from artists and also other people from the creative industry. It's a very inspiring and peaceful place. Yeah, I would like to share here also my most recent work. It's called Homo Ludens Nelson Mandela Park and we see it on the back. Here and this work, um, yeah, I captured during my residency last summer. I was a resident residency artist at the CBK Zuidoost, which is a location also in Amsterdam. Usually they work with international artists, but now due to the pandemic, they asked artists from Amsterdam to come and work in their living and studio spaces. So during my arts and residency, I was focusing on the green areas in that part of the city. And it was very interesting to me because usually Amsterdam is a packed city. Many people are in very small spaces. And in the southeast of the city, there is a lot of greenery. There's a lot of, there are many parks and a lot of people from the um, Suriname community are living there and they have also a different way of dealing with public spaces so I got uh, fascinated by the park which is called uh, Nelson Mandela Park and I started taking pictures in the park several times so first I discovered the area these areas by walking and then I decided which areas I wanted to capture and I yeah, when I capture, I usually depict the locations from a different perspective. And here I used a specific tripod that is about a couple of meters high. And together with an assistant, we went to the park and we captured moments in the park on different um, days. And yeah, and then actually the real work starts because taking the pictures often is done in a couple of hours, a couple of days, but then when making the sketch uh, with low resolution uh, and composing, comp compositioning all these images together, it's really the moment when the, yeah, when the work starts to, to live. It's also a long process of composing, recomposing, 
and uh, letting the work sit for a while, looking again at the work and changing composition. It's a lot about composition. So I also, at some point when, it, when the work is nearly finished, I start to print out the work on large scale. And then I look at the first print, not of course only at the, the color and how the color comes, colors comes out, but also of the composition and the transitions. Uh, I start to draw on the work and to label the work again, as you can see here uh, in the photographs and on the sketches. And then I, I work again on the digital file. So I'm very much interested in visual contradictions within the image I create. And the vertical view allows me to work with a juxtaposition of the overview. And due to the high resolution, I'm also able to depict a hyper-realistic detail. The complete image can be seen as a flat and abstract surface, but when the viewer is moving closer to the work, many intimate details unfold. And for a series with multiple photographs, the process of research, production and post-production can take months or even years. And then the work becomes an interpretation of the place, rather than a document. So it's, um, yeah, it's almost a kaleidoscopic uh, view of my world and how I see it.